know a con game when I see it. Release the whole tape and let the folk see. Not everybody can be a robot polisher. They playing a shell game. We're demanding complete transparency. Complete transparency. Because we deserve the truth. We don't deserve a cover up. We don't deserve a conspiracy. We don't deserve it to be swept under the rug. Come down here to see a tape. Come down and get a tape. 20 seconds here. Shell game. I want it to be loud and clear that we've heard the demands for transparency and accountability. And that to me is what this is about. That's why you see this legislation and the need to get this footage released. There's loud cries for this to become public. And what we're seeing right now, um, obviously um, delays of which um, I believe erodes public trust. Oh, we'll give you the tape in 30 days. No, we're going to do it in 45. Shell game. The mayor of Charlotte weighing in. You have Hillary Clinton weighing in. You have the family putting this video out in the hopes of prodding the police department to release the, the dash cam video, any body cam footage that they have. Don't want to release the tape. It might prejudice the grand jury. Well, the grand jury is supposed to see the tape themselves. Shell game. It's now more than two days after the fact, and there are still so many questions that linger. And I think that... Um, the longer we wait, or you know, the longer they wait to, to act on this or to do anything or to be transparent, which they have stressed from the beginning is something of utmost importance to them. The longer that they wait, the worse it looks, you know, and the more frustrated people are going to get looking for answers. There's a mother just with so many questions tonight, and she just wants to know the truth no matter what it is. And it shows the police doing something wrong. They try to delay, delay, delay. Advocates calling for the release of body camera footage and all of those deadly shootings. There are so many questions that they just refuse to tell the truth about and share it with the public that needs to know. Release the footage! 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 They see an imbalance to the prosecutor's refusal to release video evidence while at the same time allowing an incident report to go public. For me, the insincerity involved in withholding the video, which would let everybody see what really happened one way or the other, but releasing the 911 call and the officer's statement is extremely uh, unfair. Release the video so it can either cooperate with what CMPD is saying or it can vindicate what the Scott family is saying. But the longer that you dig into your refusal, I feel like you're only building the distrust. It, it just seems a little bit strange that still at this point there are so many questions. And if there is this evidence um, that, that could be available, I don't know. You would think that maybe, I don't know. Not everybody can be a robot polisher. There is no law enforcement reason that I can see why that video should not be released. Uh, and I'm urging that that video be released to the public.